Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here today with my non-fiction November week one update. So it's been seven days since we started non-fiction November and I just thought I'd check in and let you know how I'm doing. And to be honest, not too bad, I've got to be honest. So far I have actually read and finished The Keys of Egypt by Leslie and Roy Adkins, which is about the deciphering of the hieroglyphics by uh, Jean, what's his name? Jean-Francois Champollion. Um, this was extremely good actually, very, very interesting. Tell us how Jean-Francois became interested in Egyptology and Egypt and how he was a genius with um, languages um, and set about deciphering the hieroglyphics. It also features obviously other people who are trying to do it, including the British Thomas Young, who was a great rival of Champollion's and they hated each other at one point, but at, at the end of his life, um, Thomas Young did admit that Champollion was, was right and he did some great things. And they were sort of reconciled in the sense that Champollion would send him things that he wanted for something he was working on. So yes, really, really enjoyed that book. Gave it four out of five stars, actually. Um, but then I do love anything to do with ancient Egypt. I don't know if you can see them here, but this is all Egypt here and this bottom shelf. Because I've changed my setup around, so I'm actually sitting down a bit lower just to give it a bit of a break up because it's a bit more comfortable like this. I've now started The, the Romanovs, um, 1613 to 1918 by Simon Sebag Montefiore. I haven't got very far with this, I've only just started it, I'm only on the first chapter, but it is such so, so well written, it is lovely, it is interesting, I can't wait to really crack on with this. Obviously this week and next week I'm a bit tied up with the show, obviously next week I'm off work so I've got the days, uh, the days to read so I intend to read as much as I can this week and then crack on with that one next week. And I've also started uh, Uncle Jack by Tony Williams. Now, a reason I started this one is I do like to read at, while I'm at work on my lunch breaks. I didn't want uh, to not waste time reading stuff on my Kindle, but I wanted to make the most of what time I've got. Uh, this week, so I thought I would read um, Uncle Jack while I'm on my lunch break. As you can see, it's a lot slimmer, a lot more portable than, say, the Romanovs, which is like 700 pages long. So I have started this, it's very, very interesting. And the premise is this, is that the, this guy, um, Tony Williams, is the great grand nephew or the grand nephew of a man named John Williams, no, uh, John Williams, or Sir John Williams as he is, was known. Um, he founded the museum, uh, sorry, the Library of Wales in Aberystwyth. And it was when he wanted to research his uncle to find out a bit more about the founding of the museum and looking at his ancestors' uh, um, collections, which are housed in the, the Welsh Museum, the Welsh Library, I keep saying museum, I don't know why. He discovered that his uncle had been in Whitechapel in 1888, and of course anybody who was in Whitechapel in 1888 could have been the Ripper. Whether or not his uncle was the Jack the Ripper, I, it's, it's one of those things we will never know. But this is his case, and it's also a biography of, of John Williams. So, the reasons um, why they say he became Jack the Ripper um, is because his wife was infertile and he was trying to discover a reason for, infert for infertility and to try and, uh, and cure it. But that would not explain the reason why Mary Kelly was ripped apart the way that Mary Kelly was. Um, but I'm only, I'm only on chapter six. Um, I'm enjoying the biography. It's really interesting. I've never been to the National Library of Wales in Aberystwyth, but one day I will hope to go. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's an interesting read. I don't think it solves the mystery, but if nothing else, it's an interesting biography of uh, the man that founded the uh, Welsh Library. Um, and it's uh, another one in the, the Ripper canon. So I, I always enjoy the books on... I, well, I don't want to say enjoy the books on Jack the Ripper because that sort of gives off the wrong impression. I enjoy reading true crime and because it's unsolved, it's fascinating. What happened wasn't enjoyable to these those poor women, but I do I like thinking about the mystery and wondering why and who, and uh, like most Ripperologists do. So that's so far how well I'm doing on my non-fiction books. I haven't started rereading Roses from the Earth yet. However, I'll probably start reading that once I've finished Uncle Jack. And as you know, I picked out another 
um, non-fiction book from my TBR jar which is Under the Rainbow by John Carlyle it's about his relationship with Judy Garland apparently he was an actor and uh, 1954 The Star Is Born, his scene was cut but he knew her for the rest of her life and had affairs with her and God knows and every other man and woman in Hollywood. This one, I think it's one of those sort of kiss and tell all biographies but I will have a read of that soon. So that's how I'm doing so far on non-fiction November. I'm really really pleased that I finished The Keys of Egypt because I do like my books on Egypt. I love them. Um, and the, the Romanovs is very interesting but very very big and of course I, la I do like to read my um, True Crime Jack the Ripper book so I thought it was a good enough reason so I'm looking forward to seeing how you're all doing with non-fiction November and what you think of the books that you've read so far or what you're reading um, if you've read any of these books obviously leave a, a comment below and I, I will answer you we can have a discussion and obviously if you've liked this um, this video give it a thumbs up share comment on the books and of course subscribe if you're not already a subscriber I will be back pretty soon I will be doing another Marilyn Spotlight uh, when I sort of get organised I'm not very organised at the moment with the show but I will get back to that soon so let's get on with non-fiction November and happy reading everybody